Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Five Summers back. Just gonna do a quick video on a knife I just got uh, today. Uh, I said in my last video I always wanted to get another knife with a stag handle. But I had one when I was young, and I noticed you know Colts Colts knives are not being produced anymore. So I looked at a lot of their buoys, and I came up with this one. This is the model. CT830 and there it is it's a beast <laughs> it's a big knife it's a big old buoy let's see if I can get it in the frame there all of it it's hard to get it all in the frame okay uh, this is what it's called for people that have trouble pronouncing Spanish I believe it's Circo de la Sangre which, from what I can tell by Google, is roughly translate blood groove, or uh, I guess it's a knife with a blood groove. Because <laughs> Sangre is blood and Circo is groove, so I'm thinking it's blood groove. That's from what, what I could tell, anyway. But, yep, yeah, uh, when I got this knife, I had to, uh, let's see, the leather was kind of dry, so I went ahead and moistened it up. It wasn't real dry it was just you know a little bit dry As you can see it's it's a nice sheath though it's really nice i like it it's got the colt logo now the back of it it's well stitched and what i use to do it with this is what i use on my leather anyway and like my dress shoes is this stuff and i don't know if they make it anymore but it's made by turtle wax f21 and it says right here, uh, protects your car's vinyl, leather, and or tires and everything. And it's got sunblock in it, I think, too. So if you were going to leave it out in a sunny room, I guess it would protect it from that. The next thing I did was shine the brass on it. Because with a knife like this, you know, the brass sometimes comes a little bit dull. This one wasn't bad. And this is what I use on my brass. This is some really good stuff. And you can use it on jewelry too, so not that I have any jewelry to show off, but uh can't afford that stuff. To me now the knives cost enough. <laughs> Alright. And then I hold the blade and I'll just use that Remington rim all. So anyway, when I saw this knife I fell in love with the the, the way the guard was shaped because it kind of sweeps that way downwards. Almost like a like on a Viking, I mean, I don't know, like on a Trojan sword or something like that. I thought that was badass. So anyway, I'm going to pull it out of this sheath, and I love that sheath. It's nice. And this is a big old beast. I love those stag handles. You can see that's a big blade. I haven't even measured it yet, so we're fixing to do that. But it does have a blood groove, or a fuller as they call them. But I love that handle, and I love that I love that guard the way it, it angles like this. I just the way it sweeps down that way. It's just beautiful. And as you can see, it's nice and shiny. There's the pommel. You can see the reflection in it. And that's got a nice kind of grabs your hand in there, and it's really comfortable. I like it. And I've got big old hands, so. It's just right for me. And they've got these nice little, I think they're brass looking spacers, but I don't know what they are. They might be leather. But I really like this blade. And it's a handful. So, and I'm sure it weighs, you know, at least a pound and a half, maybe more than that. Maybe two pounds. I don't really know, but I didn't bring my scale out today. I like the fact that it's got that choil right there though so you could choke up a little if you had to but yeah and it came sharp it came pretty sharp and i've stropped it a little bit but i'm going to strop it some more but it's pretty sharp right now it cuts somebody easily and that point's nasty it feels like a needle but yeah i think it's a beautiful knife i love those handles though so 
Yep, this is the third the model number. CT830. And it's made in Pakistan, which is still a lot better than China. <laughs> Over here you got your Colt logo. Since 1836. And that brass is just shining there. I like that. Nothing like a good shiny knife. <laughs> the blades all oiled up for for me. <laughs> this really to me is not really a field knife though. It's too it's too nice to use out in the field. I wouldn't I don't think I'd go chopping with it. But I still glad I got it. And I got this one on Amazon. And Got it for $45.99 shipped. So you can't beat that. Just a hair under $46. I think I got free shipping. But this is a beautiful knife. Like I said, they're not making these anymore. And so if you want if you want a cult booty, you better get them now while they still have them. But I think I measured this handle earlier. I think it came out at five. Let's see yeah i'm looking at five five and a quarter somewhere in there blade let's see, i'll do the whole blade first do from the center it's 11 inches actual cutting surface is about 10. so there's about an inch of uh ricasso there and there's your blue groove but yeah that's a sweet knife, I think, for 46 And uh, so just a quick show and tell. I'm happy with it. I like stag. <laughs> I'm glad to have a stag handle buoy back in my collection. And like I said, it comes with a very nice sheath. It's got a pretty good size belt loop. That's thick leather. You can tell how thick that is. I mean, it's just... It shines up nice. I might put another coat of that F21 on it. But it's not bad right now. It just needs a little breaking in. So, yep. Anyway, you guys have a great week. Don't get too scared on Halloween. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.